Hello guys, Wim here, back with another video. In this video, I want to cover our beginner multiplayer lobby product and how you can use it and how you can change some of the basic stuff that is important to know when you buy this product. So first of all, I want to showcase the product. So I want to show some of the features that we got in here. I'm going to have one player here in standalone and simply hit Pi. We are currently in the boot level. From the boot level, we will go to the main menu level. From the main menu level, you will then go into the lobby. And then from the lobby, the players can go into the gameplay level. So let's go ahead and hit play. We get a nice little boot screen here showing us the logo of the product. Then we get a loading screen for a small duration. And then over here, we find ourselves in the main menu. So we have a couple of options here. We can host the game, we can join the game. We have a settings menu and we can exit the game. The settings menu is fairly straightforward and it's a simple illustration of how you can set something like this up with some of the basic features here. Uh, the join game as uh, searching for game and then it will find sessions for you and present them to you. And then over here, we can host the game with an amount of players you can set this up to a certain amount of players that you would like as a max so you could for instance do 20 players if you want to uh, or limit it to eight which by default it's limited to but you can easily increase that and then we can click on host we will get a small little loading screen again and then we find ourselves here inside of the lobby now inside of the lobby the player again then chat so i can type ha 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 we then have the functionality to ready up over here so we can interact with this button to ready up we can also click on n to get ourselves a little player list and on m to get ourselves a character selector over here i can then become a warrior so i'll spawn with a sword and a shield i can also become a wizard i can become an officer and i can become a soldier and then when you are in the game, you can at all times also press escape, which will get you your pause menu. From here, you can continue, leave the game, change your settings or quit the game. And then from the player list, the server can also kick other players. So you cannot kick yourself as the host, but you can kick other players. And then over here, you can ready up, which will start a countdown. Once the countdown gets to zero, we will travel to the gameplay level with the selected class that we are. So right now I got the gun. Then we see that we got a little loading screen. And that brings us to the gameplay level with the character that we selected from the lobby. And then inside of here, we can easily code our gameplay the way that we want to code it. And then next, what you can do is that you can simply open up the lobby level. And if you want to test it here in runtime in the editor, you can simply get two players with a listen server, hit play, which will start up a server and a client for you. So we can get the server on the right and the client here on the left. And then we see that the client can then select a character. So I can select a wizard as the client. I can pull up the player list, but I cannot kick players. The server over here can also select the character. So let's make him a warrior. And then can kick, for example, this client over here. The server can now walk around and ready up. So I can do ready. We'll both see the status change. I can also do ready again if I wish to do that. So let's ready up. And then we have the client over here on the left who can also ready up. And then that server travel event will start. That brings us to the gameplay level. So some handy things to know is that you can easily modify your lobby to have your own level and all your own functionality we have very nice specific classes here so if we open up the blueprints folder we see a game mode folder and in here we have the lobby game mode functionality so we got ourselves our game mode our game state our player related classes such as our hood class our player controller class and player state class and the level actor for example that we use here uh, and all of these classes they are derived from our base class so this is an inherited based setup basically so we have a core class here a base class which is our game mode and game state and then we have these classes here as well as base classes and then these other classes such as the lobby classes and the gameplay classes are derived off of these and then inside of the gameplay classes you can easily code all of your custom functionality and this is already pre-set up for you so that it saves you a lot of time then we also see that we have a characters folder so in here we have a base character and then we have children characters from that base character to which you can easily add more functionality so if you wish to code yourself a warrior or a wizard you can easily code functionality in here we also have a handy function library that comes with a lot of super handy functionality for us so for instance validating player state in a very legitimate way also casting to our hood class for example and also more functionality in these other macro libraries we have ourselves a safe game setup that saves our settings for a game we got interfaces in here a function library we got the chat system in here with the full chat component and of course we have all of the widgets which will
will show you good practices for using widgets inside of Unreal Engine. So for example, we have a general folder here with modular widgets in here. So these are widgets such as a base button that you can easily reuse. And then you can see how you can make your project as modular as possible so that you can easily expand on your project. And then in here in the gameplay folder, we have our gameplay specific widgets, which you can also easily change the design of and work with. So a couple of things that might be interesting for you to know when you buy this product is that you can, for example, change that timer here. So if we go and go to the game modes and then go over to lobby and then go over to core and then the game state for the lobby, then we can open this one up a little bit bigger. And then we see that we have a countdown here. So when all the players are ready, we have a countdown, which by default is set to 10 seconds. You might want to decrease this down to five seconds or to 25. You can do so over here. And then what we also see is that we have a function in here that says check ready statuses and essentially what that does is that it will reset the countdown and will check if everybody's ready so let's say we already started the countdown somebody clicked the button again then we will reset and check again if everybody's ready or not to basically cancel the countdown and then that start countdown which is by default set to 10 will also have to be modified over here so if you changed it to 5 by default make sure you change it to 5 as well over here and then we have some functionality to the determine when all the players are ready so you could either say that you want the amount of ready players to be equal to the players that are connected in order to verify that we are ready to start the match but you can also say that if more than half of the players are readied up we want to already start the countdown and you can simply do so by changing this wire over here now, in case you wish to add more characters, you can simply do so over here inside of the character folder. So over here, you can simply right click and then you can create a child character blueprint. And then you could call that something like engineer. If that's a class that you would like to make, you can then open this guy up and change it to your likings. So you can then do all of your coding here inside of the event graph and also change here the viewport if this character has additional elements to it. All right, guys, this is it for my overview video and introduction to how you can use this product. If you have any questions, you can always leave a ticket in our Discord server. We got a very beautiful ticketing system there with which I can assist you. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and then I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy, bye-bye.